I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big, but we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. A lot was sacrificed to get this information. I plan to settle the score. We end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. Understood. Hack it out. Okay. Next mission, we're going to go to the elusive man's base and fuck him up for Miranda. Right, yeah, so I'm really bad about, excited about getting the bad end. I thought you can get it from while being renegade, I, I think. I need to look at what the choices are. Got a good point. It seems Tally's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. Okay. The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. So her, her home is Horizon then, right? So what if you let all the colonists get... Right, no, because all the colonists get taken anyway and die in aspect 2. So uh, maybe it's a different colony that she was on. Alright, so I've got her emails. Oh my god, that's a lot. Now let's use network. A news article on Quarian fleets. I don't know why the Quarian fleet is uh, quotation marked. Uh, so... Palavan, the Turian hierarchy, one of the most powerful and respected ground forces in the galaxy, are today paying respects to an unlikely ally, the Marines of the Quarian fleet. The weakened immune system of Quarians normally means their forces are restricted to ships, but with, with it, when an emergency technical team was required to repair a ground-based comm relay providing vital intel to the Turian military, one Quarian squad stepped up. Commanded by squad leader Carl Riga, who was from Mass Effect 2, I believe, uh, during Tali's recruitment mission. Was it that guy, or was it the one from Mass Effect 2 at the very beginning of the game? I don't remember which one. The Quarian team repaired the comm system, then sacrificed their lives holding to position until Krogan troops arrived. When Turian troops offered to provide evac support, Riga refused, insisting they could not risk the relay falling. He said multiple breaches to their exosuits made evacuation impossible. We're all dead anyway, Riga reportedly said. Just make them pay for it. Spokesman for our Primark Victors praised the squad's bravery. Whatever our past politics, today the galaxy stands together against a single threat, Victors said. We are humbled by their sacrifice and the sacrifice of our allies from Ronok, and we promise to return the honour. Brain check from Con Specialist Trainor. Thanks for sticking around to watch me go head to head with Suzuza. Uh, sorry again for missing our lunch plans. I'd love to get a rain check. Let me know whenever you're free and I'll come by. Let's go out and be normal people from Caden. You know what you need, Shepard? You need a night where you just get to hang out and try to be normal for a few hours. Let's go get something to eat. After that, we could go go down to the strip or whatever you want. Let me know. A Bounty Ball Goodwill Games from Steve Cortez. Shepard, the Seattle Sorcerers are taking on the Usora Maestros uh, in a Bounty Ball game. Should be epic. You recently acquired an apartment with a sweet vid screen. Coincidence. James and I don't think so. You provide the couch, we'll provide the refreshments. Just let us know. Official input required from C6 Central. Commander Shepard, your presence has been requested concerning an incident involving a Krogan identified as Grunt. Please report to the C6 officer on patrol on the Silverstone trip for additional details. <laughs> I don't remember that one, but we'll go and have a look. From Jacob Tabor, Taylor, uh, Shepard, so the Nomad is in dry dock. Seems like the perfect chance I find some trouble. Maybe outside the arcade on the main level, if you're game. It's got loads more hanging out to do with the crew. First off, we'll do that next time, but first off, I'm going to go around and speak to the crew. And then uh, next recording, we'll hang out with the crew, do the main mission. And then that, sh that should be straight on to the final mission. You asked for news about the human colony, Tiptree. 
That's where his family is. You don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Salarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, um, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's the nickname she's had it since, uh, she's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. Yeah, that was, uh, very serious for Joker. Miranda. Yeah. Damn it, how many do we have to lose? Everybody back on Earth? Morden, Rex, Thane. No, I don't like that. And now Miranda. Like one of one recording after the other. How long before it's just you and me against the whole Reaper fleet? What I would do there is I'd have them record, like, all in one go, and then just remove a name each time, and then that, then you know that that would be better. <laughs> we get the job done. That's what it takes. I can think of worse odds. I think his eyes are bugging out as well. Getting rid of everyone else just gives the Reapers a fighting chance. Hang in there. You too, Commander. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Okay, where's this gonna go? Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. Some prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. Why do I just turn my back on a mid-conversation? Am I going to do a dramatic turn when I say this? Not everyone resists with kind of. <laughs> and guns. Especially if they don't have them. But this was not a statistically insignificant number. 90% refused to report their fellow prisoners. Indoctrination should have reduced the number of rebels to nearly zero. Maybe oh, that's the point, is indoctrination, indoctrination. And they made a decision. I see. Right, they'd rather die than get indoctrinated. I'm going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? If the Normandy were captured, my fate would be similar to the indoctrinated. My code would be rewritten. I would become loyal to the Reapers. I would rather become non-functional than help them. I like your resolve. Sounds Go out like fighting. You made your first choice to be free. Which we're supporting now? Not be my last. The Reapers must be defeated. Not because they threaten death, but because the threat of death makes us die inside. It is the right of sapiens to live freely and securely. That is worth non-functionality. Welcome to the crew, Edie. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. Okay, so we've given Edie a fighting spirit, which is interesting. I think if we go for Paragon, she's, it's more emotional. Like, she's doing it to protect her friends and loved ones, not, um, you know, to go out fighting like we had there. Let's go to the captain's like, let's have a look at our armor first. I think we've got loads more equipment that we can put on. I want to see what they all look like. Right, I, I know we've got a few more sets of casuals always the same. Let's have a look at Inferno. It looks terrible. I don't like the helmet. I like the, 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 the shape on it though, like it's got loads of like sharp angles. But it looks it looks awkward. That's more like a, a kind of like a mining suit. Uh, Cerberus. That one looks okay, I guess. But why would we wear Cerberus armor? They're the enemy. Terminus. This is like Bartarian armor, I believe. 
looks very cool. I love that. It's very renegade. But with all these sets, you can't take out the helmet, which I hate. Collector, again, that's my favourite armour in the game. Looks very, very badass. I love that one. But again, you can't take the helmet off. Reckon a Knight, that's from Kingdom's Alamar Reckoning. Uh, yeah, fine, I guess. Doesn't fit in with Mass Effect, but it looks cool. Blood Dragon Armor, again, this is, for, this is from Dragon Age. That looks very cool. I think the female variant of this looks much better than the male variant. And you've got the Dragon Age symbol on the top right, it looks very cool. Doesn't fit in with Mass Effect, but it looks very badass. And Cerberus Nightmare, so this is from the Arena. Oh my god, that looks very cool. But again, why would we wear the enemy's armor? So let's see what we've got. So no helmet, looks cool. N7, yeah, fair enough. With Breaver, I think that looks the best. Death Mask, looks like a Krogan helmet. The Visor, don't like it. <laughs> the visor, also don't like it. That looks fucking terrible. Capacitor, that looks even worse. Oh. I like that. Arkham Visor, don't like that. I don't like anything that blocks the face. That one also looks terrible. <laughs> Recon Hood. Okay, that one looks that looks pretty terrible. This is what I wore on my offline playthrough. This actually glitches the game, right? So if you wear this, they take it off for some cutscenes, but they, they, you don't have eyelids <laughs> for whatever reason. So your eyes are popping out of your head. Uh, it's a very bizarre glitch. That looks terrible. And that looks absolutely awful. Yeah, I'd rather go for less stats and look cool. Alright, so this is chest, so N7. Basic, very cool, very uh, iconic. Casa, I like that one. That's my favourite one. I like the metal plates on the abs. I can have that one's. I like the material, material of that one. It looks like it's a bit like more glass base. Armax, Arsenal. Yeah, that's cool. I like the texture on that one. That one looks very flat. Also looks cool. All the the main armor looks good. Hankadar, that one. I might have to keep that one for Renegade. I like the like grenade pouches. Got some shoulders. Okay, big and bulky. Bigger and bulkier. Uh, Service Council, I think it's my favorite so far. Actually, that's my favorite so far right now. That merges the two our pieces together. So I'm going to go for that one. Alright, arms. Yeah, I think I prefer that one. It's got like uh, pipes going along the arm. There's council. Oh, actually I prefer that one. I like the little... It looks a bit bulky. I was going to say I like the, the armour it's got on there. Rackenob is very thin. Rosenkopf, I mean. Armax Arsenal, very thin, but very cool as well. That one's pretty cool. And that one you have like your shirt underneath it, which is I don't like. So I'm gonna go with that one. Right, so legs. Looking good. Castle. Oh, I don't like that. Don't like that one at all. And three, that one looks cool. Kinda like the shins. I wish we could like actually move the camera up and down so we can see more of it. Four, that one looks much better. I think four was my favourite so far. Actually, no, that's my favourite. I like the more coverage, the better. Although, actually, that does fit in with my torso, doesn't it? I might stick with that one. I look more like a soldier. And the material, I don't really care about all, all the pattern. As long as it's red. Uh, I'll have to see if we get more ammo, uh, more armour later on. So, have we got everything? Like all the model ships? I think there are pins where if you don't have it, so I think we have got everything. We've got a little space hamster. We scare away. I wish, we, I wish we could do more. Not with a hamster. Like play with him a little bit. Or let him just run around in like a like a space ball. <laughs> so like an omni tool ball. Like rolling around. I think for some of the DLC, there's a one called K9, which is a part of the Legendary Edition because it has all the DLC. Uh, but there's a robot dog you can get. Um, it might be DLC or maybe like a pre-order bonus, but it appears in the shuttle bay downstairs. How are you doing, Caden? Can you feel it, Shepard? Feel the quickening? Elusive man better say his prayers tonight. 
Because we are coming for him. Murderous asshole. Oh, yeah. Tide is turning. I feel it. All right, Caden, sharpening his knife. Sanctuary. Elusive man's obviously crazy, but bring him on. Cases like this, I don't mind killing crazy. I like where he's at right now. He's very badass. Whatever you got. He's fucking pissed. <laughs> Actually, let's check the board. Is Miranda on there now? No, she's not. They're not Rex's though. Bit weird we haven't put Miranda on there, unless she's moved at the top somewhere. Alright, so I don't know the first name at the... Th oh, going down from the top left. Don't know the f top two names. I know Ashley Williams. Uh, and then I know... Oh, Miranda Lotion, she's there. I don't know why she's in the middle and not down at the bottom. Morden Solis, I know him. And Fink Rios, and now on the right side. Presley, we know Charles Presley, he was the XO in Mass Effect 1. Legion, I didn't know Legion was on there. Um, Richard Jenkins, so he is the guy that dies during the tutorial in Mass Effect 1. Uh... Talitha Draven, that name rings a bell. I don't know what she's from though. There's also Rosamund Draven, so sisters. And then uh, not Rex, of course. I think Tyler's in here somewhere. Oh, at the bar. How are you doing? into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. Tally gets drunk She's quite so often. <laughs> rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude, and I wish she was here. Oh, I want to see how this turns out, Paragon. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him, never changed herself to please him. Ah. Don't ah me. You sound like a vulture. Oh, she's Isn't comparing herself to Miranda. Miranda fighting her father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. <laughs> Here's to Miranda. Rest easy, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Bushdet. Kill us alive. Okay, so I think everything's getting to tally. Taking it hard to someone she didn't really like. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not good. Let's see what else we've got. A pleasure to see you. Nothing. I wish we'd been able to save Miranda Shepherd. She may have worked for Cerberus, but she did the right thing. I hope she's found some peace. Okay, I think when I do the insanity playthrough, I'll try and save her. <laughs> Just to see how differently it goes.